So 2014, I sold 100 properties for the first time. I was the number one REMAX agent in Alabama that year. And every year since then, I've closed 100 deals a year. Man, long story short, I got it when I was 20. I made a meal before I was 23, and then I lost it all in the crash, right? I went back to roofing houses, worked in an oil rig, was bankrupt, sleeping in my car. In 2008, I got back in real estate after I got laid off from the oil rig, and I understood after reading 100 books why I lost everything, and that was because I put money first and transactions and deals. That was my entire focus. I, didn't, I wasn't even thinking about the people, or you know, continuing a relationship later, none of that existed at all. And so I realized that was my, my downfall and that was the whole reason why I lost everything and my whole entire problem. And so I reversed it when I got back in the business in 2008, I started building my business on people, you know what I mean? And I wasn't really focused on if they're gonna buy or sell today or not, I just wanted the relationship. If they did wanna buy or sell today, great, let's do it. If not, I wanna work with them later. So in 2012, I did, I decided, you know, once I figured that out and had some momentum, I decided, okay, I'm gonna to try to do a team. Um, and I, I tried about 12 agents over the course of a year and a half and about lost my mind, ended up just going back single agent, you know, never looked back. 2014, I sold 100 properties for the first time. I was the number one REMAX agent in Alabama that year, and every year since then, I've closed 100 deals a year. Single agent, one assistant, you know, I go to every show and closing, you know, inspection, listing appointment, etc. You know, I'm still doing it. So this year is going to be the best year I've had so far. And, uh, you know, like I said, everybody has to kind of figure out what their niche is. The good thing is that, you know, whatever niche you pick, and whatever, you know, lane you, you choose to to take in terms of what kind of properties you want to sell or what kind of what you want to do. Every different avenue and lane is completely an unlimited opportunity. You know, like I can't call every single condo owner in my area ever. It'll never happen. You know, you can never call every luxury homeowner, you know, in California. It never happened. You know, you can't call every commercial property owner. It'll never happen. So whatever you pick, you know, stick with it, go for it. Realize that it's an unlimited opportunity, you know, more than you can ever handle in your life if you work 24 seven, you know, and just dive in. I love people when they have those um, setbacks, temporary setbacks or learning lessons in life. The great news was you were able to come back from that. Let's, let's go back a little bit. What was kind of your mindset and how did you get yourself out of it? Well, my mindset, man, was that I was just as happy then as I was before as I am. Well, now I'm probably the happiest I've ever been, but I mean, if there ever was a thing, right? But the thing is, is I was never like unhappy, right? Here's the thing. When I talk to agents that are part-time trying to go full-time, you know, I get this all the time and it blows my mind because what, when I look at what I went through and I see what they're going through, I'm thinking, okay, you know, before I got into real estate, right, I got up early and I roofed houses. I got up all day and grinded all day on a roof, right? When I got in real estate, I got up early and I grinded all day on real estate. When I lost everything and went back to roofing houses, I got up all early in the morning and grinded all day long. You know, when I moved to the oil rig, up early, grind all day. Got back in real estate, up early, grind all day. So if you notice, my day-to-day -day hasn't changed at all through this entire process. I'm getting up early and I'm doing the best I can do to, to get a little bit better each day, learn something, put in a lot of work, put forth a lot of effort, and, and keep moving forward and just kind of try to get a little better every day. If I have a huge setback, okay, now, I mean, that setback happened kind of out of our hands, lesson learned, now we're where we are, we can't do anything about it, all we can do is Get up early, grind all day, try to get a little better. I mean, that's the process. So when I talk to agents that are part-time trying to go full-time, they hate their job. They want to go, you know, they just want to do real estate. And I'm like, what is the difference? You know, maybe you'll make a little more money, but that's not, you're not going to make enough money not to have to work anymore. You're still going to get up every day, grind all day, and go home, get a little better, do the same thing every day. The same thing you're doing now. So what's the rush? Right? And so that, that's, kind of, that's kind of the way I look at it. When I lost everything, I was like, okay, great. I know, I knew that 
there were guys, I was in my mid-20s, okay? There were guys that were in their 40s, 50s, and 60s right next to me that were learning the same lessons, lost everything, had to start over from zero, and start the whole process over again. I was in my early 20s, 23. So I knew that this was a huge opportunity for me, that, that for me to learn the lessons that they were learning in their 40s, 50s, and 60s in my, in my early 20s, I knew I was set. Like that actually made me happy. When I'm roofing houses, I'm happy. When I'm working on work, I'm happy. When I'm sleeping in my car, I'm happy. Because I know that was gonna be very short-lived. And what happened? I got back in the business in 2008. I slowly started building it the right way, built a, built a strong foundation on people, right? And then boom, started hitting the number one agent in Alabama. Number one remix agent in the whole state. Three different years. Um, and so this year, like I said, I'm having the best year I've ever had in real estate.